Hi everyone, my name is Jesse Oldham. I'm a project leader for Vulcan based out of the Denver office. And today I just wanted to talk to you about one of the exciting new features that's going to be available in Vulcan version 10. And Vulcan version 10, one of the goals that we have is to really put the user in control, uh, regardless of the task it is that you may be working on. Uh, this task that we're talking about today is the display of large block models. And in the past, when you've been working with very large models, uh, things can get a little unusable. Being able to load that model on the screen and view it uh, slows everything down due to you know, hardware constraints and the software constraints. Uh, and so users have had to get a little bit creative about maybe the size of their block models, uh, the number of blocks, whether or not to split into multiple models, etc. And the goal of this option is to uh, allow you to have the model that you want and then be able to still use that and view that easily on screen. So here I've got two block models. One is half a, mil uh, excuse me, half a billion blocks. The other one is a billion blocks. So I'll go ahead and load this on screen. And you'll notice how quickly that pops up. The first time you load one of these things, it takes a little bit longer as it's building some... Uh, files behind the scenes that allow you to work with the model quickly but once you have those you can see how quickly it's going to load um, I can manipulate my view very easily and quickly as we look at the model from afar I can see features of the block model um, or within the block model but then as I zoom in you really see the resolution adapting and improving until I get that block by block resolution that allows me to see the detailed features of my model as I zoom back out, you'll see that it is, once again, adjusting the resolution appropriately. As I click on the block model itself over here in the properties window, you can see there are a number of dynamic things uh, that can be changed. We won't go through all of them, but just to highlight a few of them to show you how you can quickly and interactively work with these models, I'm going to enable the dynamic cutoff. And you'll notice by changing those things, it's adding and removing blocks appropriately so that I am viewing the blocks that I have specified with my cutoff values. Okay. I can also quickly and easily change the color scheme to something that I may want. Slicing, data tips, so forth. So you can see this is all very quick with half a billion blocks. Um, if I come up here and load the billion block block model, you'll notice how quickly that comes up. I'm still able to zoom in here and quickly th see the things that I need to um, without having considerable lag on the screen. Um, so this is one of the uh, things to look forward to in version 10 uh, with our hopes of putting you back in control and, and helping you to make better decisions based on um, the geology and, and mine planning constraints you may have rather than hardware and software constraints. So thanks for listening and uh, we'll see you soon.